Uh, work your chicken. Find your, find your day in a chair. You won't make her stand up for two hours, are you? It's just, it, what's that TV show? Uh, cheaters. <laughs> cheaters. That's what this t that's what this training center has become. Cheaters. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I was trying to think of that love, uh, uh, love date, connection. Dating game, but they didn't turn like gay on everybody. So <laughs> no, they had their first two two guys on that bullet, and that kind of broke my heart. That show's been around. I know. I, I got to change with the tides, it's, it's 20, but I ain't changed. I know. Bullet, it's 2013, I know, I know. George. Boy, I, I got to get. All right, y'all, shut up for a minute. Hey, hey, right. thank you. Oh, what was that? So let me yell at my kids. So, let me, but but let we're gonna get so. close. We're not close. Well, well we're close enough. I just like... after our. Uh, Debut reunion uh, and farewell tour farewell on the same tour. night. All bullet, of the same. Night. That we got, we got to be close. Yeah. Bullet, okay. Almost overlapping. Almost like <laughs> well, I kind of like that. We're like a two headed. <laughs> like that. Then that day, then yeah. Oh, my camera ends back for just a second. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Now yeah, you're my Sanjay Dutt, and that's my. Well, okay. well actually, he'd be more like Sanjay Dutt. Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck? It's my show. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. Oh, we've got so much to cover here, boys. Oh, you get shades on? Okay, I got shades. So yeah, because I'm going to tell you what, i got a good point here. And we do whatever our fans, when they when they voice their opinion, we answer their request. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to say this. Good TV. But we've got to introduce first. Before I before I call somebody an idiot, we got to actually officially introduce the show. Okay. Then, then I can call them an idiot. All right. So, All right. so remember to, that we need to call somebody an idiot. Yes. I'll, that's, I'll, first, I'll, that's the first line. For, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to pre-call it early because it sounds like, it's so dress room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sound like a dress room in Clayton. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. We're ready to get serious. Yes, we're ready to get serious. Sell some books. Shut up, George. We ain't even open the program yet. Okay. I need a good edit point that I never use. Oh, I love that. There we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. You know what the claps are. You know what time is. But before I ask you how your weekend was, George, I hear you have to call some an idiot. Yes, I do. Right off the bat. You know, we get emails here at George South TV. Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. We get a bunch of emails. Most of them are positive. Well, over half of them are not positive. Some guy this week actually made the comment. Now, listen to me, people. We're at war. I'm just telling you right now. People, unemployment is, <laughs> I'm going to depress them right off the bat. Ain't nobody got a job but us. Okay, uh, gas is a hundred dollars a gallon. Prohibition this, is happening. Prohibition. What the heck's that? Yeah, oh, that's that. Okay, that's K Faith or something. I know. Yeah, yeah, it is. But anyway, and somebody actually wrote in and said, "Why does George South dra wear the same <laughs> wear the same clothes every week?" That's not the case. Bullet. Listen, let me tell you something. Just because I wear the same shirt, don't mean I wear it all the time. But listen, just to give the fans what we want, Bullet. Listen, I found these. Uh, you certainly didn't buy it. No, no, no. I found these Craftsman's work glasses. Okay? Well, they're not sunglasses. They're no, they're not glasses. sunglasses. They're work glasses. Okay? <laughs> okay, boy? Okay? And I found these, and so I just wanted to give the fans that care so much about what we wear, uh, give them a little different, okay? So now you can't say I wear the same thing. I actually can't see nothing in front of me right now, but... <laughs> They're going to wear this that much in front of you anyways. <laughs> but anyway, boy, just a great, great week. We want to give the fans whatever. We, it is the greatest feeling in the world is to walk right in here at highspots.com right here in our exclusive office here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and to get good news that we've done sold some books. The minute I walk in the door, Bullet, a great fan just wrote in. He requested not only the book, but a big note in there, Bullet, said that he wanted the backyard uh, George South Bash that we have very good boy and he did request that uh you would sign the book also so uh, i did boy i love that i did see that in there and i just want to thank everybody but this book this book let me tell you and i won't comment on that before we get to where we've been i actually got another email this week and i kind of frustrated a little bit over it when someone said that i posted too many pictures of my book on facebook now, boy, I ain't blown a gasket in quite some time, but I blow one over that comment. Listen, and this is exactly what I said. You idiots stand there in your underwear in front of a mirror and take pictures of yourself. <laughs> you post pictures of your ugly date. You cuss. You even post food pictures that none of us can eat because it's all going to kill us, and that's okay. But listen, folks, and I'm, I'm serious as I can be. This book means more to me, uh, probably, than you folks do, okay? So get used to it, okay? We're talking about Facebook here. If you don't like it, delete me, because I'm sure I'm going to delete the guy that commented on that, 
Okay, so uh, I just want to get that off my chest, boy. It's just amazing to me that someone in, in this day and time of Facebook, which I hate Facebook, boy. It helps me sell some books, but I hate I hate all that stuff. I hate all that electronic stuff, boy. I'm just telling you. I'm still trying to find out how to get on uh, MySpace. Bullet, hear me? Once I tap into MySpace, folks, you better watch out. There's a whole lost generation that I ain't ticked off yet, bullet. You and Justin Timberlake are going to bring uh, MySpace. <laughs> oh, exactly. I'm going to get a picture of Justin Timberlake holding that book on my on MySpace, bullet. But anyway, folks, listen. I love your comments. I don't listen to any of them, but I love your comments, bullet. My glasses, my work glasses are getting steamed up here. But we just had a great, great week, bullet. It was, a, it, I tell you, I've been doing this stuff 40 years, you know, 100,000 matches, bullet. And it was just, I had so much fun with you Saturday night in Clayton. I did. Just an amazing thing to, to, to go out there and just to still have fun after all these years, Bullet. We danced. Uh, we did uh, kick off our reunion tour and probably shut it down all yep. in the same night. It's mm -hmm. cheaper that way to save money. It is. So I prolonged something, Bullet. No. Uh, but it was just a great time, and thank you so much. I had a great oh. uh, it was just It was fun, Bullet. And just amazing, we didn't, uh, no, we didn't talk it over, Goofs, okay? We didn't even talk it over. Matter of fact, we didn't even talk it over yet, and it's been over with. But it was a great night. Got a picture with Jimmy Hart holding the book. The war, uh, uh, Yes, I am in that picture of the Powers of Pain. Uh, you can't, you can't guess, see. Guess which one he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So we got some great pictures added to the site, Bull. It was a great, great week. And, of course, uh, now we're here getting ready to start training here at the greatest training center in the world. Got some new students here tonight. And we're just here to have a great time, boy. But anyway, I, I don't start off usually calling people an idiot, but just those comments about the way. And you know something else I'm gonna comment on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be quick here, boy. But you know, no, the you last few weeks. Show. You can go oh, I love that. Oh, thank you, boy. Oh, right. Uh, you know, the last few weeks. You know, my son, who I want to punch in the head uh, one day and hug him the next, uh, voices his opinion uh, almost as much as his daddy does. And lately, he's just been putting some stuff that he basically hates pro wrestling right now. And I don't blame him, first of all, but here's, I want to I wanna clarify this real quick. You know, Bullet, most second generation sons hate this business, and they got a good right to. I'm going to tell you why. Little George, since the time he was born, Bullet, seriously, I'm going to get serious here for a minute, he hung out, seriously. Uh, uh, he grew up around the Anderson brothers. He grew up around Steen, uh, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. So all he ever seen, Bullet, was... What was right about it? You understand? And I mean, Buddy Landale. I mean, uh, uh, Buddy Landale wrote the book, the greatest book, the second greatest book in the world. Buddy Landale held him when he was sick. While I was in the ring one night when he was ten years old, covered him up with his uh, uh, his robe, one of those great robes. So what little George has always been around was what was right. There was never no idiots. And so what he's having a hard time with, I'll take up for him because he runs his mouth. But. What I'm saying here, folks, it, it's hard for him to make that adjustment, Bullet. You understand what I'm saying? Because the, the idiots, listen, you either become one of those idiots or you become one of us who hates all those idiots, okay? And I'm fighting it till the day I die, Bullet, but that's, little George just gets pretty aggravated at the way the business has become, and, and, and that he voice, he don't think like his daddy, he just speaks. Uh, but that's it. When you, when you think of what he come from, Bullet, I mean, sitting on Sting's lap, uh, Rock and Roll Express, I mean, holding it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So he, everything that was right, that's all he's ever known. And now he's got to put up with axe murderers. He's got to put up with dad burn uh, goofs that walk around with pink masks. He's got to put up with just a bunch of stupid people, bullet, in our business. So anyway, I just wanted to clarify that, bullet, get that up right there out and open to my son. is. Uh, he, he, everybody says, well, is he ever going to wrestle again? I said, pay him. Bullet, this ain't brain surgery. You hear me? But anyway, so I just had to put that out there. I normally don't take up for my kids. They can do that themselves after having to live with me all these years. But when you, and I know nobody understood what I just said, which that's fine too. Uh, but when you see what all he was used to, Bullet, and it was always, when he used to walk into a dressing room, uh, you know what I'm saying, Bullet? It was just, everything was right about it. Yeah. You know? And anyway, so. Well, got, but this will kind of bring up a segue, the, a topic that I've wanted to bring up on the show for quite some time. Well, I love this. Now, I'm going to go very much around here, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to hit a lot of points that have already been covered in the few minutes already. Now, oh, I love um, this. Brother, listen, folks, when he okay. does this, y'all better strap yourself It's going to get deep That's all I'm soon. saying. Very I love soon. it. I got glasses. I you can know, see. I, I might not be talking about the river of avarice, but <laughs> J.C. J. Roberts, but we'll get there. But, I got safety glasses. I can handle it all. <laughs> but anyways, you know, a lot of people are like, saying this show sucks why do you keep doing this we hate this show well i'll tell you what 
my mom and my girlfriend see the show. I moved all the way from Charlotte, all the way from Iowa to Charlotte, and I basically don't have a lot of family here or friends. And this is the way that I kind of communicate weekly right. with my girlfriend and my mom. So I will continue to do this show there because of that. Because I'm there's quite there. a bit of dif d distance between them and, and loved ones and stuff like that. Which, you know, uh, you have to I be creative that. how you see them and communicate with them. And it's very easy with social media. Now, in the era that you went through, and, and uh, this is all going to come back even to why, why maybe Junior probably hates the business a little yeah. bit. Oh, I love this. Is there was a You're time, so good, boy. There was a time there where you had to pack your bags yes. and go all the way to Kansas City. Oh, boy. And you had to leave your family behind, and you had to work yourself a territory. You're talking about an oh, era where, where, where there's the no cell boy. phones, there's no social media. You weren't That's putting out a YouTube show to say hi to your son every day. That's exactly so, right. So I've wanted to bring this up for a while. Why don't you talk very briefly, as only you can, uh, about your time in Kansas City. Well, you know, Bullet, and I can hear Journey playing in the back. That was one reason I, I wore my safety glasses in case there was a teardrop came out of my eye. Bullet, I love that. And and just a tip of the iceberg on that, you know, our good friend, Charlie Dreamer, who has moved to Texas and got a, a beautiful baby coming along that's going to be here any day. I've got his first two years of bookings right here with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and he sent me, after watching our show from last week, he just sent me a quick little note just saying, that that what you just said that's how he stays connected to two of his good friends mm -hmm. so folks listen uh, and i say that bullet to just tap into when i was in kansas city like you said uh it was even hard to write a letter back then because you were so busy i did not see my family i did not see my kids uh or my wife you know for almost eight eight and a half uh, uh months <laughs> seemed like eight and a half years but probably uh the, i had to dig in the lowest part of my life i learned so much from the guys we wrestled every night but there was still that family, that home that I had left. And there's a lot of those old timers that, that have been through that that nobody will ever understand because it's never going to happen like that again. So I agree with you, Bullet. One hope, like we're never going to disagree anyway, but it's so neat that you said that, especially after getting that letter from Charlie Dreamer just saying, man, I love that show. I don't care who else does, but that's how I stay connected to two of my good friends back home. So see, folks, you learn something every week by watching this great TV show. We don't do it for y'all anyway. I, I hate to say that. We do it for us. Listen, I just sold a book. What have you done today? Okay? Really, God burn it, bullet. Okay, I'm not going to get fired up. I can't see nothing. My glasses, what the heck, bullet? My glasses <laughs> all fogged up. My work glasses. I don't think, don't throw no metal at me because I don't think these things would protect me too much, bullet. <laughs> but listen, folks, we love everybody. I'm just telling you right now, that time in Kansas City, bullet, really made me appreciate, uh, even though I'm not into it a lot now, uh, oh, one quick note, and I brought you to see it this past week. You can say what you want about the phone that Luthez gave me, but sitting in the dressing room, our good friend Jimmy Hart, Jimmy the Mouth of the South Hart, pulled out his phone, and it was identical flip phone to what Luthez gave me back in 1950. So see, and like Jimmy Hart said, we're going to bring him back. Bullet, folks, you better run out and get one. Before long, you're going to be wishing you had had one. Bullet. Like the little brick phones you could just drop. Oh, I love uh, that bullet. Sit it right up here like I'm a bazooka or something, buddy. Yeah, like Paul Lee dangerously yeah. smashed oh, it on oh, somebody's head. Oh, I love that. So. <laughs> yeah, but that, see, that's another thing. Paul Lee couldn't even be Paul Lee right now with one of them little old bitty phones. How can he smack somebody upside the head with that thing? <laughs> see, they're killing the business all the way around, bullet. <laughs> but I tell you, we, we love doing this show, bullet. We got a great, great week coming up this week. Got so much stuff going on. We're going to sell some books, bullet. And, and I'm going to shut up. I just want everybody to listen, folks. We do listen to your complaints, but we don't do anything about it because we just do what we want to do here at the greatest TV show in the world. I don't even know how many episodes, but we got to be closing in on 40. I, we might pretty be 35, soon. Right? 35, folks. Listen, don't let us hit 100. I'm just telling you right now because I'm going to burn the set down on 100. <laughs> We're going to be so. Don't let us get 100. Folks, listen, thank you so much, boy. We might be charming snakes, animal <laughs> sacrifices, <laughs> We're gonna do all it kinds all. of stuff. <laughs> Selling used cars, used tires, <laughs> anything, folks, right here. And in prohibition, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. I love that word. I got to look in Brian Blair's book and see what that means. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> and, and he the one that wrote the book. Him, uh, on, on. Les Thatcher and, and your buddy Ricky? Oh, yeah, yeah, very good. All right, folks, we love, we love everybody. Great show's coming up, folks. If you want to be part of the greatest uh, wrestling shows in the world, you come right here at highspots.com, folks, and we'll get you involved. Okay, That's great true. week, Bullet. That's all right. Uh, anything else Anybody we didn't dog, Bullet? I don't think. Did no, we? I think we covered it. You covered we'll it. Everybody. Don't, don't worry. If we ran out, there'll be a whole uh, new bucket full by next Tuesday. Okay. I'm sure, Bullet. So, great week coming up, Bullet. We're going to stay busy. Thank you, folks, so much for buying this book. It's all over the world, folks. We're so excited. That's right. All right, and we're going to close this off and let everybody know that you can get George South's book at highspots.com.